Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, so today we got a GV80. Um, customer complained about noise on the dash. So I drove this vehicle. Um, I didn't hear the noise, but as I came back on the way, I heard a tapping sound while applying the brake. So I thought it should be an engine running. So during engine off, um, I can still hear the noise so I'm just gonna try to recreate I don't know if it's gonna pick up the microphone so let me just apply this a little bit Yeah, that's soft topping. Um, I remove our this guy here. I thought it's the brake switch, but I use my stethoscope, you know, the mechanics um, scope. So I went and touch the mounting for ABS module, and it's still there. So I went to our under the hood. And the noise is coming from the ABS module. So let's see, because this is my first time to have this kind of problem. Um, I'm gonna wait for the new module and let's see if after I replace it, if there's no more noise. Hey guys, um, so we're back with this GV80. Um, the customer complaint was the noise under the under the dash right so i pinpoint it and it's the last time we made a video for it the noise is coming from the module so the module came in i'm just gonna double check again if we still have the same noise so that we can compare it after we replace the module so i'm just gonna start this guy every time we press the brake there was a ticking sound. Now I'm not hearing it. Okay. Let me just go inside the car. There you go. So I need to close the window. So every time I press the brake pedal there. So that one, brake pedal is off. I press a little bit and you can hear that. I don't know if it will pick up the microphone. I don't know if it will pick up the microphone, but. And that, that clicking and also the last time we made a video we went outside and we heard that from the module itself outside right under the hood so i'm just gonna go replace this module I made a video for that before um i'm not gonna go through with that because it's too much time for that but before replacing it let's go quickly on the scantle and see if we can check because i'm always having a hard time every time i replace the module about the variant coding and everything so let's just go through quick on the scan tool and see what we need to do okay so we're connected to the scan tool i just want to see here first if there's an option so variant coding here right that's always our problem but there's also an auto detect configuration so the variant coding, what I notice every time you let's go system information, system identification, um, you can get that variant coding, I think. So I just went to the system identification and it will give you all this type of numbers here. And there should be a variant coding here. Recall function version name number okay so there's nothing there 
because from other vehicles I can see a variant coding number when I click that system identification but anyway so I just want to double check that and share with you guys but yeah so what we're gonna do later do the I guess auto detect longitudinal G sensor steering angle and that's it about it and pressure sensor calibration pedal travel sensor calibration too so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and replace that module the whole assembly and let's retest if the noise is still there but for me the noise is coming from that module alright guys so I'm done with the ABS replacement where you run into a problem because the new ABS module came in but there's a crack on the module itself so I tried to swap now the old mo old module and put in the new pump but we got some warning lights here and I just can't for course it says motor electrical um, but we're gonna go through with the calibration and stuff let's see if it will help if not I guess I just wasted my time <laughs> So I'm going to do the auto detect configuration first. Okay, so I'm gonna go the digital G sensor. G sensor is done. I don't know if my, I think my module may be something wrong with that. So I'm gonna do the steering angle. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna do the pressure sensor, or let's do the bar encoding and see. Automatic input. Okay. Go pressure sensor calibration. The last time I did the brake module for a GV80 or any Genesis, I don't have that you know warning message stuff the vehicle so i don't know if this is going to be successful i'm doubting myself right now yeah i think i plug in everything there so it could be my brake fluid i forgot my brake fluid sensor let me double check that if I plug that in. That's failure. <clears throat> Let me do again, pedal travel sensor. Mm. 
it's we're doing the same i'm gonna go do assembly check okay so let me cancel this let me just double check what happened um, i'm just gonna double check the connectors there all right guys welcome back again <laughs> um we're continuing this gvat with the abs module issue i just finished um putting a new one so basically because that part is back order again and this is very special customer so i guess um, my boss told me to grab from another vehicle a new one so i took it out put it on this problem vehicle so before as you can see um, we don't have that warning message stop stop vehicle and this and that right because that's what i um i know like it's just warning lights there so right now what we're we gonna do let's well, um we're gonna calibrate all right let's calibrate this module and program it okay abs i'm gonna go to auto detect configuration Press OK. Reset. OK. I'm going to go for variant coding. Press OK. Press OK. And then we're going to go automatic. Press OK. Press OK. So next, we're going to go to G sensor. Press OK. Turn off 10 seconds. Okay. So, so far our lights are just the immobilizer, check engine light, the oil light, and the battery light. So that's good news. At least our calibration process are all working. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the pressure sensor. Press okay. Ten seconds again. Mission on. It's okay. And then we're gonna go to pedal travel. Press OK. Mission off. Last time we uh, we had problems. Right now it's just smooth. Every time we press a function, it just goes through. The last time we did that, that we attempt to swap the module or the computer part, always sometimes it shows fail and that warning message. Right? Usually I don't get that warning message. So. Okay, that's about it. I'm just gonna scan for codes. Let's just see. Oh, stop. Yeah. 
MBS. Okay, have some codes here. Those communication is just clear that. Okay. So now, moment of truth, the, com the complaint was the noise. I'll make sure that the noise is not there when applying the brake. So right now I'm on drive. Because even not, not on drive, I in the same park, the noise is there every time I depress this brake pedal. So, so far, I don't hear the noise, which is a good thing. I think there's something wrong on that pump. I don't know which part of the pump that's failing is making noise. Maybe the valves is just rattling. I don't know. But anyway, I guess um, I'm happy that it's fixed. And I guess that's it. If you have that type of noise, I'm just double check if it's coming from the pump. Most, most likely you need a new ABS module. So anyway. Thanks again and see you next time. Thank you for watching.